All right, so I want to show you the app that we are expected to develop during the training sessions. All right, so this app is a computer inventory management system that allows you to save all information about the computers in an organization. All right, so before you're able to do anything, you'll need to log in. So that means we will add in some login and logout functionality. So now if I click on login, it will ask for a username and a password. So I'm gonna type my username and the password. So when you log in, it will show you your username and then have a logout button just beside it. And you'll have a setting section, which I will show you shortly. You will see these menus displayed up here. So if you want to see all the list of computers that you already have in the system, you click on computer list. Then that will show you the computer name, the MAC address, IP address, and all these other information that was saved in the system. So if I want to edit any of this information, I will click on the computer name and it will give me the uh, the details that I can go in and then change whatever I want to change. Let's say I change the MAC address and click save. So you can see that successfully saved and it is notifying up here that it is successfully saved. Now I can also delete this information by clicking on the delete button. All right, so you can see that is deleted. Now, if I want to add in new records, I will go to computer entry, fill this form, type the computer name, the IP address, operating system, and I can choose that from this drop down section. And then you type the MAC address, the username of the person using this device or this computer, and the location of that particular device. Then you can also um, click here to choose the date that you purchased this device, and you click save. Immediately click on save, it will redirect you to the computer list page, which will list out all the um, devices that you have. So if I want to add in more operating systems, I can go to settings and then type the operating, operating system. Like for example, if I type Mac OS and click save. So anytime I want to add a new record, I will see that new operating system displayed right below the existing ones all right so now if you go to computer history it will show you all the details of the devices that have changed over time so for example i had this computer that was inputted some time ago with a mac address of aa and i changed it to bb so basically the update history is keeping track of all information of computers that have changed over time so for example if you have a computer given to mr x and now it is with mr y you'll see all those details right here and when you're done using the system you can just click log out all right so this is a quick run through of the system or the app that you are expected to develop by the end of this session i hope that will help you get started with your programming career